What's up all you dumbbells and welcome back to the Daily Hero, the best place to go to your comic book, movie, TV, video game, nerd news goodness here on the internet. My name is Sean Barry and here is today's top stories. Well, we haven't got a chance to watch any of the Marvel TV shows yet, but we have gotten a lot of news about them. As yesterday, Deadline confirmed or announced that Oscar Isaac is going to be playing Mark Spector, aka Moon Knight, in the titular Moon Knight TV series. This is a really really awesome cast. If you don't know who Moon Knight is, think of the movie Split, but a superhero and even more crazy and more insane with a dope costume. He's Batman, but more crazy. Oscar Isaac is one of the best actors working today. He seems to have gotten back into Disney's good graces after taking a crap on the Star Wars movies he was in, but whatever. I believe him. He's a, a great choice. He's a little bit older actor, like they said, so he probably won't be around for too long, but definitely at least one cool season of a TV show and probably popping up a few films here or there. Do you guys like this casting? Let me know what you think down below. After the huge success that is Netflix's The Witcher, Ubisoft has announced today that they're continuing that trade of bringing more of their uh, classic video games to life in the form of an Assassin's Creed television show exclusively on Netflix. Now, no word on director or writers yet or producing team, but we can assume that it'll probably be decent, and we definitely know it can't get any worse than the Assassin's Creed movie, the much maligned Michael Fassbender starring film. No one watched, no one liked, and just plain old terrible. But are you guys excited to see more Assassin's Creed on the little screen this time? Where do you think it should go? What time period it should be set in? Let me know what you think. And down below! Again, no Marvel movies have been watched in over a year and a half at this point, and we are dying for some. But the good news is that they are starting to wrap up productions, so they'll definitely come to us in, in some way or another, either on streaming maybe one day, or hopefully, hopefully, hopefully back in movie theaters. But we have confirmation that Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings has now wrapped filming with director Daniel Destin Cretton and the star Simu Liu announcing that the film is wrapped on the puppet. With dual Instagram posts celebrating the historic film's release as this will be the first Asian-led superhero film. People are very excited about it. It's a great chance for diversity and showcasing a more obscure Marvel character that I'm sure we'll all learn to love and as if he was Black Panther, Captain America, or Iron Man. So that's really exciting stuff. Are you guys really pumped to see this film? Let me know what you think. Uh, down below. That's all the news I got for you today, guys. Please, please, please check out the Hero Network Patreon. Uh, for just $3 a month, a cup of coffee, you can help support us, help grow us as a brand so we get a real studio and better lighting, better sound. And it's not just me, I guess, a backdrop. And you can help out the whole team. It's a whole crew of people that work on this. They're really, really uh, diehard people that really just want to keep bringing you awesome, fun, superhero related content. You can also follow us on all social media at Hero Network TV. You can follow me at BigBear63 on Instagram. Follow me at BigBear Comedy on TikTok. Other than that, guys, I will see you tomorrow.